guys, my name's Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we're sitting on the wrong sides. Our little intro cards are gonna be backwards. You guys can figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, today, and we're the Sorry Girls. Today, we are doing these DIY floor poofs and they're, floor pillows. They're super popular right now. Um, we needed to get our hands on this trend without spending hundreds of dollars. Um, so we DIY'd them <laughs> as we do. Before we get into this video, you guys know that we would love it if you could subscribe and join our family. Bless if you're already subscribed. If you're not, feel free to press that red button. You can see more DIYs in your inbox every week. And once you subscribe, you can recommend videos like these ones because I know you guys wanted more decor. You're like, I'm done with Halloween, give me the decor. So here we are. Bringing it on. <laughs> okay, so let's get into how you can make a floor poof and a sweet floor pillow. To make this leather poof, start with one meter of faux leather fabric. And you will also need the template that is linked on our blog below. Cut out the template and then trace this shape onto your fabric 10 times. Cut out each piece. Once you have all 10 pieces, we're ready to start assembling. Start with two pieces and lay them together with the bad sides facing out. Pin two of the edges together. You can flip open your pieces and add a third one on again by lining up the two edges with the bad sides facing out. Kick this to your sewing machine and sew up both pinned edges. After that's complete, continue to pin on the rest of your pieces, adding each new piece to the edge of the previous one and sewing it up. When you come to your last piece, pin together the front and the end piece. Leave a few inches at the top unsewn. This will make it easier to flip it inside out when you're done. Now with your sphere turned right side out, add in a piece of scrap fabric in the bottom to temporarily cover the opening. But don't worry, we're gonna add on nice pieces on the top and bottom to finish it off in the end. But for now, we're going to fill it with beanbag filler or styrofoam balls. We have a link below to where you can get this. Carefully start to pour this into your poof shell. This was a bit messier than we expected, so we ended up creating a funnel out of some rolled up card to help the filler go in easier. Periodically, you'll want to pick up and shake the poof to help the filler settle into the bottom and sides easier. And you want to fill this as much as possible. Next, using a needle and thread, tightly sew up the top opening. You can do this by stitching back and forth between the tips of the side pieces. Make sure it's sewn well enough so that no filler can escape. Don't worry about it looking too pretty at this point. Flip the poof over and sew up the other opening the same way. As a final step, we're going to add two pretty end pieces to cover up the openings. We used a bowl, but use any circular object you have to trace two circles onto the rest of your fabric. Because we want the stitches here to look intentional, we're switching to a thicker embroidery thread as opposed to a regular sewing thread. Place one of your circles on the top of the poof and stitch large, even stitches around the circle. Knot and cut the thread and then flip your poof over and add on the second circle in the same way. And now your floor poof is complete. So to make our giant floor pillow, we're starting with one meter of this rose faux suede fabric. We measured and cut out to 25 inch by 25 inch squares. To make the shape more 3D, we cut out six inch tall side pieces to go around the floor pillow. So ideally, if you had enough fabric, this would just be one long piece that's six inches by 100 inches, but instead, we're going to have four 26 inch by six inch pieces. We added half an inch seam allowance on the ends of each side piece so that they are the right length when we sew them all together. Take some pins and pin the good sides of the short edges together so that they make a complete square. Take this to the sewing machine and sew a simple line to attach your side pieces together. And voila, you have a long piece that fits perfectly around the two squares we cut earlier. Back in your workspace, lay out the side piece in its square shape and bring in one of your square pieces. Line up the seams of the side piece with the corner of the square. Pin the good sides together at the corner and work around so that your side pieces are pinned to your square piece. Take that to the sewing machine and get sewing. So once that's sewn, we should have a box shape starting to form. We are then going to repeat that process with the remaining square piece, pinning and sewing all the way around. This time, make sure to leave a gap so that we can stuff the floor pillow with stuffing. After the sewing's done, flip your pillow shell inside out. So now it's time to make it rain stuffing. We ended up using about three bags of pillow stuffing to fill the pillow, but this will entirely depend on how big you decide to make your floor pillow. Once full, use a blind stitch to close up the gap. With a needle and thread, stitch up the fabric from the inside of the pillow so you don't see your stitches. Now that the base of our floor pillow is complete, it's time to add some detail in the stitchings to really make this come to life. The first steps are to add in some gathers in the middle of the pillow to create some tufts. Use a ruler to space out some dots where the gathers will go. We added one directly in the center and then four around it, about seven inches in from each side. Because we made our pillow fairly thick, you'll need a long needle for this. 
tie a knot in the end of your thread, and then stick your needle through the pillow at one of your dots and then come out the other side. Go back and forth, pulling your thread tightly to create a gather in the pillow. Knot off the thread and repeat for your other dots. And the last step is to add a tuft edge around the pillow. With your needle and thread, we're going to be gathering the top and side together around the entire edge of the pillow. Put your needle in the top of the pillow about an inch from the seam, and then bring the needle out on the side about an inch down from the seam. Make a stitch to the side and then bring your needle from the bottom to the top about an inch out from the seam. Again, move over to the side slightly, stitch back down and then out the side. Pull the thread tightly and you should see a tufted edge starting to form. Tie a knot in the thread periodically to make sure that you don't end up losing the tension you've started to create in case your thread breaks from pulling too hard. Repeat the process all the way around the top edge. Once that's done, flip over the pillow and repeat the edge gather again on this side. And your floor pillow is now complete. Thanks guys for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure that you like it. And if you love it, again, make sure you sub it because we want to grow the fam so much. You guys are amazing, incredible yeah. people. Thanks so much for watching. Um, feel free to leave any video ideas mm -hmm. below that you want to see. DIYs, we're always into it. Holidays are coming up so mm -hmm. we can start thinking about that and getting into that. So do let us know. We love to hear your feedback. We love, love, love. All right, we will see you next week, guys. All right, bye. Bye.